Hi, this is Jan speaking from Messai in Byron Bay. Uh, I have a few tips to share for the AUD 112.3 uh, practical assignment. So I pulled up a random mix just to explain a few things. It will be a different production for you, but the problem is the same. I would like to talk about gain staging the output of your mix or the level of the final mix file. And uh, for that, we recommend that you work to a K20 standard. You can read up on K20 on Bobcat's uh, website, which is in the assignment brief. But just for now, I'll talk you through and skip uh, the detailed explanation. Locate your master fader and right click um, to change whatever you have to K20. And it will then change the meter ballistics uh, to RMS and peak and will shift the scale down so that 0 dBFS is now labeled plus 20. And where we had negative 20 RMS, we now have 0. On playback, you can then adjust the master fader up or down until these big fat green bars sit around the 0 mark, a bit above, a bit below, generally in the pocket. Um, and then you're literally done. You can also see the peak level, which is uh, this one pixel wide line on the top. Um, obviously, you don't want to clip. If it still clips, you probably re need to reduce the master fader a little bit more. This said, uh, you might want to check what you're using uh, for processors. In my case, I've got an equalizer uh, uh, sitting on the master. The equalizer will not react to volume changes, so that's not a big problem. This said, uh, the next following compressor, which I use for glue compression, uh, is sits post master fader. That's unique to the Pro Tools master fader. Therefore, level changes on the master fader will actually affect how the compressor sounds. Let me just demonstrate. We get about a dB to 2 dBs of gain reduction. And if I pull the master fader, we lose level into the compressor. So all happens under the threshold and the compressor stops working. If I bring it up too high, the compressor will overcompress, and that's also not a good idea. Therefore, we now need to gain stage the master fader into the compressor so that it works at its optimal. And if you then would like to fine adjust the level for your final mix, you can now use the compressor's output gain to fine adjust the level to K20. Okay, I hope. Uh, this is all clear to you. If you've got any questions, please speak to your local module coordinator or you can send me an email at j.math.sae.edu. Uh, this is all for now. I wish you sunny greetings from Byron Bay. Have fun with this assignment. Bye for now.